Now, now, one of the reasons the door felt like it was still open for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was Brett Maher's inability to make not one. Holy crap. Not two. Not three. But four extra points. And when you leave it at 24 nothing after missing your fourth one. Yeah, right. Making it a three-score game yeah. in theory. That's when it's like, uh-oh, we've seen this movie before. Here comes Tommy. Seriously. But good God. Two to the right, and then the overcorrection to the left. And I don't think a kicker's ever missed four extra points in a game ever that I can think of at the NFL level. Unbelievable. Dak Prescott beside himself. I mean, you, this is you got one job. It's the old you got one job meme. You and 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 I know it's not as short and easy as it used to be, but still, it's a 33-yard field goal, and you missed four of them last night. I that's a huge. That, that's the 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 huge thing hovering over the game. As, as awesome as they played, and they can feel good about you know what they look like and going into to San Francisco. It, th- that that would be you know something that's got to be talked about, and I know we lost Mike here, so I'm going to talk to myself here for a second. But uh, how could you not, as you know, you're sitting there going into one of the biggest games you had as far as the Dallas Cowboys had here in recent history, the rivalry of the 49ers in the playoffs. Can you really feel comfortable and go with Brett Maher into the game? I I, I mean, they got to bring somebody. I I don't know. As a head coach, I don't think I could do it. You know, kickers are like, it's like a golfer or whatever. You get the yips. He might be awesome, but he might got the yips right now. And that would scare me to death. And I think I would be bringing in guys that work out here the next day or two. Well, the person whose one job it is to keep me on air failed while I was talking about Brett Maher not doing his one job. But I'm back. We'll see if I'm gone three more times tonight. I'd never thought of this before. You know, we have to ponder from time to time when a kicker gets injured during a game who else on the team yeah. could kick. For the first time in 50 years of following the NFL, I actually thought, is there someone for whom Brett Maher can be benched during <laughs> right, the game? Is right. there someone else who has a better shot at making this extra point than the perfectly healthy starting kicker? That's the thing. You don't have a starting kicker. You have a kicker. Yeah. You have one. Yeah. You don't need a backup. You never go to the backup. And I agree with you. It's a... It's a thought that Jerry Jones, the owner and GM of the team, should have this week. Here's Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott from after the game talking about their kicker who couldn't kick straight. We need Brett. He he understands that. So, uh, you know, we need to get back on it this week and, you know, get him ready to go. Obviously, we're kicking out, you know, an outdoor stadium out there in in Santa Clara. So, um, but, you know, we, you know, um, yeah, he's disappointed, but, uh, you know, we need him. We need him to focus in, and you know he's he's been super clutch for us all year. So, um, but that's the plan. I'm I'm Money Mars' biggest fan. Uh, obviously, I've been shown the video of me, uh, and that's just emotion. That's just that's part of it. Um, but but uh, yeah, I mean, I talked to him individually. Told him just told him after the game, hey, let that go. We're gonna need it. Um, I, I just played like a week ago, so I mean, that that, that happens. Uh, but when you believe in each other and you believe in uh, what we're capable of doing and knowing what that guy's done, uh, what resiliency he's shown throughout his career personally, um, no doubt that he'll come back next week and be, be perfect and uh, help us win. Why would you say no doubt, Dak? Why? Why would you have no doubt? This is in his head now. There's too much riding on this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a ruthless sport. It is, as I've said time and again, a giant football machine from which parts are removed and new parts are replaced all the time. And it's no more easy to do than at the kicker position. One kicker goes out, another one comes in. You need confidence. You can't be thinking about it. You can't have any doubt in your mind. First touchdown of the game against the 49ers. What if he misses that one? Field goal of about the same distance as an extra point. What if he misses that one? You can't just say, well, we talked to him and he said he'll try really hard and he won't do it next time. I mean, what else is he going to say? It's really in my head now, and I don't know if I can ever make a kick again. Thank God I made the last one, but I don't know how I'm going to feel when I line up to make a kick with more pressure on me. What if it comes down to a field goal try? That's what I mean. Down a point. That's where I couldn't couldn't, – yeah. It's – I I, – and and it's just one of those things where I'm sorry, we just can't do this. And – and – You know, this isn't necessarily a coaching thing because there's not like a guy in the bullpen that you can bring in the other field goal kicker. But, but 
the organization can look who's out there. There's always a kicker out there. There's always somebody out there. You could bring in five today and do a gong show tryout and put them under pressure and see who survives it, who makes all their kicks, who's feeling it, who's getting it done. And then what you can do is you can add a guy to the practice squad this week. You can elevate him this weekend if you want to. You can put him on the active roster. You can make your decision as the week goes on. And you can see what Brett Maher does in practice. That's right. You know, you spend all week out there on the practice field. I want to see you make kicks. You better go make that kick because we're thinking about bringing someone else in. I mean, it sounds kind of harsh and kind of cruel, but nah. damn it, the season may ride on. That's right. It's it's a pressure-packed position. It's the only one that's not a reactive position in all the football field to where, no, it's truly pressure-packed. That's you, you are what you are. The other guys in the football field, we've talked about this before, you know, hey, there's pressure. Yeah, but they're reacting to the moment. You don't have time to think, oh, gosh, it's third and seven. You're sitting there going, oh, gosh, Vita Vea's in my face. I got to make a move and get the ball out of my hand. And it kind of takes the pressure away from that standpoint. Yeah, you got to have a guy that you know can stand in the face of pressure and the moment and – not be bothered by a little wind out in Santa Clara and a, and 70,000 49ers fans saying, F you, I hope you miss it. And that would be, to me, you definitely bring somebody in this week. you know. And like you said, I don't know if you put him on the roster right way, but he's there, one, to put a little pressure on Brett Maher to go, wait, how are you going to react all week? This guy's here at practice too. You know, you might even have a few moments during practice where you bring up the guys and get around them and yell at them and see how he reacts in that moment. But, like, man, I, ooh, he'd really have to pass with flying colors for me during the week because the thing I, I would I – would, it'd be, it'd be hard for me to go in the game and go – I would have a hard time sleeping with myself, I guess, if I let Brett Maher, Maher be the kicker and then he misses a big field goal late third, fourth quarter, and I go, oh, all the signs were there. I don't know why I let this happen. I would certainly flirt with the, the new kicker thing. I got some free advice yeah. for the Joneses. Free advice. I'm talking to you right now, Stephen and or Jerry. Here's what you need to do this week. And all I want in return is a little ride on the bus when we go to Indianapolis. That's <laughs> it. Maybe, maybe if it works to a charm and you win the Super Bowl, you can invite me onto the Super Yacht. Here's what you got to do this week. And I'm serious about this. I, I was thinking about it while you were talking, all, all the different ways to get this guy ready. Teams pipe in crowd noise all the time for practice. We know that. All the different ways that they simulate the environment they're going to be in. What they need to do is have Brett Maher kick all week long, and they need to put this together today. They need to have a layered sound effect with thousands of voices chanting, Maher, Maher, because that's what he's going to hear. Every kick in San Francisco, they're smart enough to know they're going to be sing-songing his name. They're going to be getting in his head, and he's going to hear that when he walks out there for the first time to kick, the second time to kick, the third time to kick, every time, because they know it's a thing, and they can save their team a point or three multiple times. He needs to not just hear crowd noise. He needs to not just have guys around him. He needs to hear his name chanted in a derisive way every time he steps onto the practice field this week because he's going to hear it that way every time he steps onto the field on Sunday. Guaranteed. Do it now. Get him ready for it. Get him kicking well in that environment because that is the only way to simulate what he's going to see on Sunday night. And if it works, take me for a ride on the bus. Give me a hot dog. Give me some Johnny Walker blue. If it really works, take me for a ride on the yacht. That's all I want. Well, why don't you make that voice recording for them and send that down there? That'll really help them. Then you layer actually, it. Well, you yeah, layer it a thousand times over. You, you know like that. they did. You make that and Maher. they'll pop it in. Right, right. Maher. There you go. Maher. Right. Just do that for an hour it. and record it and send it to the Joneses Maher. and said, I made something for you. <laughs> I better be careful. If I keep doing that, I think a bull moose is going to show up at the door. Maher. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but Chris, am I wrong? I've, we've heard, We've seen that before. That and, and those 49ers fans are ruthless and relentless and brilliant. They know this is a thing. They're going to be ready to go when he goes out there to kick. Yeah, they're going to no, give it to him. Have, so give it to him in advance. Pressure, no doubt. He, he See definitely if he can do is. It. We're all going to be talking about it. I mean, it's going to be definitely something that's going to be brought up, uh, brought about. You know, through talking heads like us on on a lot of different stations. I got to think somebody's brought in at least for practice purposes and see how it goes. But, you know, that's like the only thing that was negative about Dallas last night. That's for sure. 
Uh, that, there was a lot of things to look at, and when they Dallas Cowboys play like that, that makes it more glaring. I Chris, know that makes I it know more it does. glaring. I know that's why I, I think they got to bring somebody in like you're talking about and play the the music and the crowd noise and have a kicker there to see how he reacts to the week of pressure. But man, I mean, when the Dallas Cowboys play like that, they remind you that mm, man. They could be a, a team that could, you know, upset the apple cart, end up in the Super Bowl. You know, Brock Purdy, one bad mistake, or Michael Parsons around the edge, strip sack fumble. Ooh, wow, watch out. Uh, for, for entertainment purposes, I am glad they won last night. We've seen Tampa versus the 49ers, and I don't know if it would go much different no matter what. This one, the, these guys got the freaks to hang with the other freaks out in Santa Clara. And I don't think they're going to back down for the physicality of the moment, too, here. So that's where it, it's going to be really cool to see and uh, one of the better games on, on Divisional Weekend Sunday night, Sunday evening. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.